Hello, and welcome back to Country Profiles channel, your go-to destination for in-depth insights into different cultures around the globe. Today we take you on a fascinating journey to the heart of East Asia, to a nation that beautifully blends the ancient with the modern, South Korea. Renowned for its technological prowess, South Korea also holds a treasure chest of unique traditions that are deeply woven into its societal fabric. From age-old customs to vibrant festivals, these traditions provide a window into the rich cultural landscape of this dynamic country. So, buckle up as we embark on an exciting exploration of the top 10 unique traditions of South Korea. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss this. Have you ever wondered about the unique traditions of South Korea? South Korea, a country where modern skyscrapers and high-tech subways meet Buddhist temples and palaces, is a treasure trove of rich traditions and customs. These traditions, deeply rooted in history and culture, paint a vibrant picture of the Korean spirit and way of life. In this video, we'll embark on a captivating journey, unveiling the top 10 unique traditions you need to know about South Korea. Let's dive straight into the countdown starting from number 10. Starting us off at number 10 is Jeol, a traditional Korean way of showing respect. Jeol is essentially a form of bowing, but it's much more than just a physical gesture. It's a deep-rooted tradition that signifies respect and humility towards elders and superiors. Practiced during holidays, family gatherings and formal events, Jeol involves a specific sequence of kneels and bows, each carrying its own symbolic meaning. This age-old practice is a testament to the importance Koreans place on respect and hierarchy. At number 9, we find the Doljabi, a first birthday celebration that's quite unique. This South Korean tradition sees a variety of objects placed before the birthday child. Each object symbolizes a certain future path. Will they grasp a pen, indicating a scholarly life? Or perhaps a stethoscope, hinting at a career in medicine? Maybe a string of money, suggesting wealth? The child's choice is said to predict their future. It's a joyful celebration and a glimpse into the child's future. Moving on to number eight, the traditional Korean costume, hanbok. This stunning attire with its vibrant hues and graceful lines is a feast for the eyes. Typically worn on festive occasions and ceremonies, the hanbok holds a special place in the hearts of Koreans. Its design, influenced by the Confucian culture of simplicity and modesty, is a testament to Korea's aesthetic sensibilities. Moreover, it symbolizes the unity and harmony of the Korean people. Undeniably, Hanbok is a beautiful reflection of Korean aesthetics and history. At number seven, we delve into the spiritual with ancestor worship. This tradition is deeply rooted in Korean society, where respect for elders extends beyond life itself. Families come together to prepare rituals, offering food and drink to their departed loved ones. It's more than a mere practice. It's a way of life, a testament to the reverence Koreans hold for their ancestors. In their belief, the spirits continue to guide and protect them. This practice bridges the gap between the past, the present, and the future. We're at number six with a tasty tradition, kimchi making. This is a culinary art form where cabbage is salted, spiced, and fermented. It's a dance of flavors that's been passed down through generations. Kimchi making represents more than just food preparation. It's a communal activity, a gathering of hands and hearts. Families and neighbors come together sharing stories and laughter as they prepare this staple dish. It's a tangible thread that weaves through the fabric of Korean culture. Kimchi isn't just food, it's an integral part of Korean identity. Halfway through our countdown at number five, we have Seolal, the Korean Lunar New Year. It's a time of joy and merriment filled with traditions that are steeped in centuries of culture. Customs include wearing hanbok, the traditional attire, playing folk games, and feasting on taeokguk, a symbolic soup made of rice cake. Seoyal is not just about the festivities, though. It's a significant time for Koreans to pay respect to their ancestors and wish for a prosperous year ahead. Seolal is a time of celebration, reflection and reconnection with family. At number four, we have Chuseok, another grand celebration in Korea. Often likened to a Korean version of Thanksgiving, Chuseok anchors itself in the heart of the Korean culture. It's a time when families gather and partake in a feast of traditional food, notably Songpyeon, a type of rice cake. The festival also includes folk games and ancestral rituals, blending joy with reverence. It's a time when Koreans not only feast, but also remember and give thanks to their ancestors. Chuseok is a time for Koreans to give thanks and remember their ancestors. Coming in at number three is Hangul Day, a celebration of the Korean alphabet. 
Falling on October 9th each year, this national holiday commemorates the creation of Hangul by King Sejong in the 15th century. It's a day of speeches, performances, and exhibitions, all designed to honor and appreciate the beauty and uniqueness of the Korean language. From classrooms to concert halls, the entire nation unites in celebration. Hangul Day is a testament to the love Koreans have for their language and culture. At number two, we have Samjinol, a festival that celebrates the coming of spring. This tradition is not just a welcome to warmer days, but a profound celebration of life's vitality. With customs rooted in folklore, the festival is a vibrant display of South Korea's cultural heritage. From the making of delicious springtime foods to the singing of traditional songs, Samjinal is a joyous occasion that ushers in the new season with gusto. Samjinal is a vibrant celebration of nature's renewal and life's vitality. And finally, at number one, we have the serene and spiritual Korean tea ceremony. This beautiful tradition is a dance of elegance and mindfulness, where every movement is deliberate and graceful. The ceremony involves brewing, serving and sipping tea in a prescribed manner, fostering a sense of unity and respect among participants. It's more than just a tea break, it's a meditative practice that encourages tranquility and appreciation for the present moment. The Korean tea ceremony encapsulates the essence of tranquility, respect and mindfulness that is so central to Korean culture. And there you have it, the top 10 unique traditions in South Korea. From Joel's heartfelt expressions of respect, Dolyabi's charming predictions of a child's future, to the elegant hanbok and the deep-rooted practice of ancestor worship. We've journeyed through the communal joy of kimchi making, the family-centered celebrations of Seolal and Chuseok, and the linguistic pride of Hangul Day. We felt the magical shift of seasons in Samyanal and found tranquility in the tea ceremony. These traditions offer a glimpse into the vibrant and rich culture of South Korea, a culture that seamlessly blends the old with the new.